What's up? It is late at night, believe it or not. And uh, while most of my family is in the other part of the house sleeping, I'm here in the studio and um, was a little bit up late at night, so thought I would go ahead and put down a Slick Lick series. Haven't done one in a little bit. Uh, the only person keeping me company is the studio cat, Kachori, uh, who's wandering around trying to get in the shot, but not going to happen. Uh, anyway, so I thought I'd go ahead and put down another lick. This is a little slick groove that you can use. I guess you'd have to figure out where you'd want to apply it and so forth. And um, it's probably not such a beginner's lick, so to speak. And uh, it kind of piggybacks off of what I did in the last lick lick, which was about the double stroke roll. So here's a kind of idea of what it is. There's a rough involved, which is... first part of it. So let's let's go ahead and try to slow that down. Ah, sorry about that. Again, all of these things can come out of the exercises that you do for your hands. Really what you practice is really not going to be uh, so much different from what you implement. So that's, that's part of practicing is to practice in such a way that it becomes a natural thing to implement it in your playing. Other than that, what would be the point of practicing a thing? So, again, here we go. First part. Double stroke. Uh, double stroke. Ah, uh, sorry. So I've tagged it a couple of different ways at the end of the double stroke. Or is the very end of the phrase. So if you put them together, basically the whole lick and it's it's about application so as with every single one of these things that that I do I talk about its implementation musically so you can't just throw stuff in randomly <laughs> in a song it's it's got to work itself naturally into the music in the right place to make the music feel good uh, if you try to force different licks into a groove then obviously it, you know, it breaks the, the groove and it won't be happening, you won't be working very much. So um, I'm, not pre I'm preaching to the choir for those who work a lot and for those of you who are more new to playing or more new to uh, playing in a, in a professional context, then uh, this is a word to the wise. So uh, again, I'll try to throw the lick in here. Um, If you want to, you can go back, I'm sorry, uh, and look at uh, the last slick lick that I did that dealt with double stroke rolls. So obviously you got to kind of practice it, I, you know, again, uh, which is my habit to come in here and not warm up to do these things. But then again, it's not for show off. It's really to kind of share and, uh, you know, in our circle of drummers and percussionists to kind of share things. So uh, basically got to practice. Uh, hand technique and I think in some earlier Slick Lick series I gave different exercises that you can do so 
if you want to go back and look at that, or if you want to go online, uh, there's plenty of people who have all kinds of exercises for your hands and techniques. There's actually official videos that you can purchase that deal with that as well. Um, and uh, putting all of that together and putting this lick in if you want to, um, you got another slick lick. All right, peace and have a good night. I'm sure my family's about ready for me to shut this down anyway. Peace.